I've always envisioned a place where people of all ages work together and do not work against any minority group. Because as Inuit, we have suffered greatly in our land, and I'm sh I was sure that we would not want to inflict suffering upon others. Inuit went through a very sudden and drastic transitional period in the 1950s and 60s uh, with colonization. We were drilled. There was a process of trying to assimilate us into becoming something other than what we were. And with that transition came a lot of um, shame. Uh, people were made to feel less than and unimportant. Isolation and losing community is, is our sentiments that LGBTQ have throughout their life anyway. And double that with loss of cultural identity. It's extremely difficult and painful, I think, for a lot of people. I have people in my life that I love very much. Uh, who are gay. <laughs> and could never tell anybody. I knew that if I didn't leave, I was gonna die there. I chose to be homeless in Ottawa opposed to going back home because I just felt like it was the only way that I would be able to survive. One of the things we kept hearing from politicians was the elders don't like this. Uh, this is something that has come up from the South. There's never been homosexuality in Nunavut. This is something brand new. There is a hidden history there around uh, familial relations, sexuality, uh, and ways of being in, in Inuit society that aren't being necessarily spoken about openly. There's actually words for uh, gay and lesbian um, that elders have shared. Like, the translation was lesbian was two soft things rubbing against each other, and then the men was two hard things rubbing against each other. 